The government will today call for some of Britain's biggest businesses to reform education and help prepare the next generation for the future by providing more technical placements and apprenticeships. But the very first skills summit threatens to be overshadowed by Donald Trump, who overnight has hit back at Theresa May, as we've been saying, after Downing Street criticised him for retweeting anti-Muslim videos that were tweeted originally by Britain First. Uh, Education Secretary Justin Greening joins us live from Westminster. Good morning to you, Justin. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. morning. Thanks for having me on. Uh, we will talk about the Skills Summit that's happening, but of course, as I'm sure you're aware, as we were just saying in the introduction, there's a sense that that may well be um, uh, sort of sort of overshadowed by Donald Trump and what he's done reacting to the comment that came out of uh, number 10 last night about his tweets. What's your reaction, first of all, to the tweets that he retweeted originally, and also his reaction overnight about the fact that Theresa May needs to focus on what's happening here in the UK? Well, I, I'd simply make two points. Um, I mean, obviously, he spends a lot of time tweeting by the sounds of it. Um, I didn't agree with the tweet he put out yesterday around Britain first retweeting uh, some of their videos, and I think we are absolutely focused on uh, tackling Islamic extremism here in the UK. And I think Theresa May, both as Home Secretary and now as Prime Minister, has clearly focused on this. So I think people in Britain know how hard uh, we are all working collectively, both in the police and the intelligence services and within communities, actually, to tackle extremism. So I think we can be proud of the steps that we have underway as a country. And I think today, for us, we're focused, as you say, on the Skills Summit and looking ahead to making sure that young people in our country, wherever they're growing up, whoever they are, are have fantastic opportunities. And, and to do that, we need businesses to step up to the plate. Well, that's good to hear. Good to hear. And we will talk about that in a moment, I do promise. And also good to hear that we are tackling Islamic terrorism from your uh, perspective. However, the problem is he's the pre president of the United States. It's very personal, his comments to Theresa May. Theresa May, don't focus on me. Focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism taking place within the UK. We're doing just fine. And when he retweeted those tweets, they are offensive, as Danny's tweet said. They are, you know, destructive. They are not helpful. I mean, there, does there come a point when, for all our special relationship with America, we have to distance ourselves with a man like that? And I think we've been very clear we didn't agree at all with the, the retweeting that he did yesterday. And I think now we have a choice. Either we can get into some... Um, tit for tat in a way response to the latest tweet um, or actually do what I think we need to do which is to focus on uh, the domestic agenda we've got here uh, and the we broader relationship that we have with is the UK, revoke US. our invitation as many politicians from all sides are calling for this morning to have him come here now you probably haven't had a chance to talk to the Prime Minister yet this morning but what's your personal view in the light of this would you still like to see Donald Trump come here for a state visit? Well, I, I think clearly these tweets don't assist the relationship. And I think we've got an incredibly long, meaningful, historic relationship between our two countries and, and obviously particularly between the UK and the US American people. So I think there'll be times when we have our disagreements uh, with the US and disagreements in this case with President Trump about what he's saying. But I, I think we've got to be careful to make sure that we set that in context and we don't let it distract from the incredibly close relationship that we's, we've always had with the US. So is that um, a yes, you'd still like him to come? Because well, it's great business. I, I think I think the first... Uh, the, the, obviously, we have the, the royal wedding coming up. Um, so I think the first question will be for Clarence House and, and any invite to that as head of state. But I think in the end, we do want to make sure that we do have a close relationship with the US and, and President Trump is the president of the US as it stands.